Welcome to another tutorial by Longhorn Physics. In this tutorial we want to talk about the concept of gravitational potential energy. So here's a practice problem. We got a ball being held about two meters above the ground and we want to know what the gravitational potential energy is of the ball. So we always start by given the equation that you could use to solve the problem. So in this case it would be PE is equal to MGH. And in order to uh, solve the problem we we need to understand what each variable or symbol means in the equation and the units that go along with it. So let's do that now. So here are the units for um, potential energy and the terminology and, and the symbols that go with the equation. Feel free to stop the video and uh, take some notes. So the gravitational potential energy says it's P equals to MGH. Most of the time the subscript G is written in the equations when solving them. And let's go over the, the symbols that, along with their units. So we have potential energy and energy is joules. And we have gravity which is meters per second squared. On Earth, we'll use 9.8 when we solve our practice problems. Mass is, is kilograms. And then height or distance uh, is also meters in physics. And here's our working definitions for each uh, term. So now that we've gone over the uh, terminology and the units that go with each symbol in the equation, I like to... Uh, use what's called a circle label method to organize the data to make it easier in doing the final calculation. So in order to do that, basically go through the problem and look for uh, units and circle each time I see a unit and then I label it with the letter in the equation. So kilograms is mass. So again, in order to solve a physics problem, if you don't know the units and the variables that match with them or correspond, there's no way you're going to be able to solve it without a headache. So we got the exercise balls is two meters. So meters goes with the height. And what is the gravitational potential energy of the ball? We know that's going to be in joules. Now if you notice, um, gravity is not given in the problem, but uh, on our, to do our problems here, we, we usually use 9.8. And gravity is in meters per second squared. Okay, now we have our uh, data organized. The next step like to do in solving the physics problem is to place our data in a t-bar. Makes it real easy to, to see. I'm going to stop and say that yes, it might be easy to plug these in and just go straight forward. But uh, once you get to more difficult problems, a way of organizing your your data once you've used the circle and label method will come in handy. So it's good to have uh, some good fundamentals. So we know our equation for potential energy is MGH. So all you got to do is go back and plug in all the correct values here. And multiply, you end up with 58.8 joules of, of energy. 